everyone welcome back to another what sold video these are my sales for the month of june 2022 and before i start i just want to say that i am filming on the 4th of july so you may or may not hear fireworks in the background while i'm filming my name is lindsay and i'm a part-time reseller on poshmark and i also sell on depop mercari ebay and kittison uh, but my main platform is definitely Poshmark and that's where most of my sales come from. So yeah, let's just get into it. My first sale was this vintage single stitch Las Vegas Tropicana hotel tee. This sold for $25 and this was free inventory given to me by a neighbor. And I definitely would have picked up something like that from the thrift store. Uh, the next item that sold was this Naruto anime hoodie. Uh, this sold for $24 and I picked this up from the bins. I love selling anime stuff. It does really well for me, so I always keep an eye out for that stuff. All right, next sale were these Dickies Distressed Faded Black Jean Shorts. These were mine. I did wear these for a while, but my stepsister gave them to me and I actually cut them into shorts. So they were pants at first, but I decided to list them because um, they were a little too big on me. So these sold for $18. So thank you, Brie, for giving me those. Uh, next sale was this Y2K Tommy Hilfiger mini shoulder bag. Uh, this I thrifted from the Salvation Army and this sold for $18, which wasn't bad. Um, it did sit for a while, but I'm okay with $18. Um, I might pick up something like that again, um, depending on the price. Um, probably if it was from the bins, I would definitely pick it up. All right, next sale was this bundle of, a, it's a Joy Division band tee, Necromantics band tee, which is a psychobilly band, and this wool hat. This was Universal Threads from Target. This bundle sold for $50, uh, which was great. I got all three items from the bins, so a very low cost of goods. So I made a decent profit on that. Uh, next was this Queen Band Tee. This sold for $17 and this was free inventory given to me by my Aunt Lisa. So thank you, Lisa. Um, the next sale was this Just Lingerie Purple Lace Top. Uh, this sold for $15 and this I got from the bins. Uh, okay, next sale was my first and only sale on Depop. Uh, I was really excited about this sale because it was my official first uh, sale. And I have had one or two since then, I think just one. Um, but yeah, I was really excited about this sale because I am learning this platform right now. Um, I'm, I think I've only been on there like a month or two. So uh, this green crochet top sold for $30. And I picked this up from the swap meet um, about a year ago. So it did take a while to sell. Um, I probably would still pick up something like that because I do think that that style is still in. All right, next sale was this Dodgers blanket. Uh, this sold for only $8, which was fine with me. I picked this up from the bins probably because I was so excited to go to the bins for the first time in a long time, so I just was picking up everything. Um, but going forward, I probably won't pick up stuff like this anymore. I did make a small profit, uh, but yeah, like I said, it takes up too much room in my inventory and I probably won't be picking up blankets anymore. All right, next sale was this Free People Movement Blue Sports Bra. This sold for $20 and I got this from the bins and I definitely would pick this up again. Next sale was these vintage audio cassette storage crates. Um, these were given to me by my grandma. 
Um, so yeah, that was free inventory. So thank you so much, Ba. Uh, that sold for $12. All right, next sale was these Kohl's Mud High Rise Black Jeggings. These sold for $10. And uh, this was also free inventory from my Aunt Lisa. The next sale was this vintage Y2K Corona Extra graphic tee. Uh, this sold for $20. And I got this from the bins and I would definitely pick that up again if I ran into it. Or any kind of beer graphic tee, they usually do very well. All right, next sale was this Mickey Mouse Pullover Kids Hoodie. Uh, this sold for $8, and this was a Mercari sale, uh, my one and only Mercari sale. And this, uh, yeah, so this sold for $8, and it was free inventory given to me by my grandma. The next sale I had was this Liz Claiborne, or New It Tags Liz Claiborne Audra Trouser Career Pants, and these sold for $20, and these were also given to me by my Aunt Lisa. Um, and then, let's see, the next sale was this Lucky 13 Rockabilly Skeleton Couple Graphic Tee. So this was given to me, I believe, by my stepsister, Brie. She gave me a bag of clothes from one of her friends, and I would definitely pick up these rockabilly bands or rockabilly brands from the bins because um, they do have a following, um, but I probably wouldn't pay like thrift store retail prices on these. Um, so yeah, that was an, um, I don't know if I said, but it sold for $15. So that was a great sale. All right, next sale was this Betsy Johnson cat mini backpack purse and this sold for $13. I thrifted this from the Salvation Army about a year ago. I did make a very small profit on this but I probably won't pick up Betsy Johnson bags uh, from the regular thrift store. Maybe from the bins, I'm not sure. I guess it just depends on the actual item. All right, the next sale was this faux suede boho sunflower tank top with fringe and the brand was French pastry. Uh, I thrifted this from the Salvation Army and it sold for $18, which was great. I was very happy with that sale. I actually picked that up on um, style alone because I don't know anything about that brand. I just really liked it, so I picked it up. And it was for a dollar. I think that's why also I only paid a dollar for it. All right, next sale was this, or the Hunger Games book trilogy set. This sold for $25, and this was my personal um, book set. This was a Christmas gift, I believe, a long time ago, and I'm just cleaning out things in my house, so I just listed it, and it sold for $25, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, next sale was this Bare Naked Ladies Tour Tank Top. Um, this sold for $14 and I got it from the bins. I always pick up band tees, they always sell for me. All right, next sale was this Disney Princess Tea Set, new in box. So this was a gift to my daughter. I've had it for a few years, but she's never really into um, that kind of toy. So, so I ended up just listing it and it sold for $10 and I will give the money to my daughter so she can get another toy. All right. Next was this black and white pinup one piece swimsuit. This sold for $12 and this was my personal swimsuit that I wore. I remember it is from, it's Morona. So it's from Target. But I loved that swimsuit and I was really sad when it didn't fit me anymore. So I'm glad it found a new home. All right, next was this Pierce the Veil band tee. This is an emo band. Um, I actually like this band, uh, but this shirt was too big for me. But anyway, I sold it for $20 and I got that from the Goodwill. 
All right, next was this M&M Monster Tour Tee. And this sold for full asking price of $30, which was awesome. And I picked this up from the bins. And there's a little story behind the sale. So the buyer sent me a message as soon as she got it. And she wanted to thank me for this shirt because she actually had this exact shirt before, but she got in a car accident and she had the shirt in her car and somebody went to go help her and they grabbed the shirt and to wipe down the blood. So it, her shirt was ruined in her car accident. Um, so she was very happy to find this exact shirt again. So that made my day. I'm so happy that she was happy with her shirt. All right. So the next sale was this Mickey and Minnie Mouse ice cream tea. This was a kid's tea and it sold for $6, um, which is totally fine because I got it from the bins. I actually really liked it and I wanted to save it for my daughter, but it's going to be years until she can fit into that. So I ended up listing it and yeah, I'm happy with that sale. All right, next was this La Sport Sack Cream Messenger Bag. This sold for $20. And I picked this up um, in Big Bear when I was there for the weekend. I actually have a Thrift With Me video if you guys wanna check that out. That's when I bought this bag. But yeah, I probably won't pay for La Sport Sack um, at a regular thrift store. Maybe I would pick it up from the bins. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy that it finally moved out of my closet. And the last and final sale of June was these Old Navy, the Power Jean Straight Ankle Jeans. And these sold for $15. And these were free inventory given to me by either my Aunt Lisa or my cousin Natalie, I'm not sure. Thank you to all my family members and friends that donate to me. Um, it means the world to me. It really helps out my little business. And I will continue to take your donations. So thank you so much for that. All right, let's get into the numbers. I had 27 sales, one Depop, one Mercari, and 25 Poshmark sales. And my gross was $493. My net after fees and shipping discounts was $375.15. My cost of goods was $67.48. And after all of that, I deducted my cost of goods from my net. My earnings were $307.67. So not bad, but I still want to make a little bit more than that. So I'm hoping for July, it picks up a little bit. I know a lot of resellers are saying that it's been slow for them, especially on Poshmark. Um, which brings me to Whatnot. I actually signed up for Whatnot and I did apply to be a seller. I'm just not sure if I can do a live sale. Um, I'm a little shy, so that is nerve wracking to me. But anyway, if you guys wanna follow me on Whatnot, my link is in the description, check that out. And I just want to thank you guys all for watching. If you found this video helpful at all and you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.